Hey viewers, what's up? This is Mohammed Sajid Hassan. You're watching Team Coder. So here in this video, I'm going to talking with you about how you can create this type of basic slider by all carousel. And one by one, we will also show you the advanced one in another video. So in this video, you will get the basic slider with some other words. So how you can do it to know about that you need to watch this from the first to the last before starting there are a request if you are not already the subscriber of my channel then please subscribe and if you do so still not so thanks a lot start with this video with me okay guys here from you can see that this is the owl carousel and from here from here you need to go to in this owl carousel to search in the google and i just search it like the owl carousel and this is the owl carousel and i will also give you that link in the description below so from here first of all you need to go to on this download to download whole file from here and once you click on this download you can see it will be downloaded and from here you can just open up it and from here guys you can see here from you will get it so here you need to extract your file and all the file will be extracted here so here you will get this all carousel the version is all carousel 2 2.3.4 so here from we need some files so go to on this disk from here in the top and here go to in this here you will get all.carousel.mean.js and here you will get another file this is the all.carousel.js this both two file is same but from here as we only use it not make any develop so we use the smallest sizes file you can see that the mean minified version the mean.js file is 40 44 KB, but the .js file is 88 KB. So from here we will use this all.carousel.mean.js this file from here. So just go to in this file and create a file here. I just create this folder and here under this I want to create a JS folder as my wish. So here this will be your JS file and take out it there. So from here we need to go to back in this JS and go to on this asset here from in this all carousel and here you can see there are some files so from here we need to select some files here you can see that all.carousel.cs and all.carousel.mean.cs we will take only the mean.css files from here all.theme.cs and all.carousel.all.theme.green.cs this is a theme so if you don't want to take it that time you can skip it so you need to you must have to take these two file only owl.carousel.mean.css and owl.theme.default.mean.css these, these two files are very very important so go to in your file and here this is my folder theme coder tutorial and here we will create another folder this is css folder and here you can rename those folder as you wish whatever you want now we will take it from here now here from we need something more so here we will create our own html file from here so go to on this and take it as a, whatever you want this is your html file and you can take it as you wish as you know it so i think you know everything from here so now from here we need to open our this file with this text editor in this case i will use this open bracket as a text editor so here we are in this bracket text editor and here you can see it now here from you need to do something more that is here in this theme coder here in this css in the js you can see that there are only one file but here you need to add another supported file as your live file this is jquery library so for that here from you need to search here jquery library file and here you will get it download jquery so from here whenever you go to there that time we get the file is download the compressed or uncompressed or the map file so from here we will take this download the compressed and from here we need to copy hold the code from here and go to on this js file and create another file as your wish name so here the name will be as jquery 3mean lib.js you can take this name as you wish i don't refer you to take this name it's not mandatory for you you can take it whatever you want so paste out the whole code and save it and it's okay 
Now from here we will go to there and we will off it. So from here we will create our own HTML environment from here. So here we will add the title as Owl Carousel Basic. So from here we will add this. Now we will open it with our browser this sajits.html here this Owl Carousel Basic. So from here now we need to add our this jQuery and this CSS. First of all we will link out our jQuery CSS file. So from here we will go to on this CSS and from here we will add our owl carousel dot mean dot CSS for the first and then we will add this owl dot theme dot default dot mean dot CSS. These two files we will add. Now let's go to there and go to on this script here and here from you need to add the src as js and from the first of all you need to on the very top of all jquery file you need to add this jquery library file as in my here jquery3.mean.lib.js this is my jquery library file so i use it so from here now we will add another this all.mean.js all.carousel.mean.js this our carousel library file so from here we need to add another jquery file this is our own jquery file where we will take some customized jQueries are there so from here it will be as main.js as you wish you can take it also as you wish you need you needn't to add it as a mandatory that I named here it will be here script script as src as the js for the main.js so from here we will start it so whenever we go to on this demo in the first time we will add this basic so from here you can see that in the HTML corner you can see that here I have some codes so whenever we take out this codes here that time it will be looks like that so from here we can change out those codes from here but in the first time we will add this and here I can just show you that how it works so from here we need to add this jquery from here too so copy this jquery from here and we will add this jquery in this main.js file so from here we will add this jquery from here and you can see it but here you need to add some other codes like dollar document docu document dot ready function and under this here you will get this function you can take it ready so from here you can do it okay now here from it's ready for me now you can add it so here you can see it it's already done from me but here I have some CSS missing so here from we will add this CSS here and you can add those CSS in other files to whatever you want so in this style.css you can see it this item class I want to add this or here from here we will add other classes to as our wish too so here from we will add this so under this item here you can get this h4 and I want to add this as a display block and I want to add this as a width of 100% and the height of at least 300 pixels and the background I want to add it as a red and it's okay now let's say it and here you can see that there have all things are there so now here from you can change it whatever you want as you wish so here from I will take some images from my PC library so here from I just go to on this test and from here I will take some images from here so copy those images and take out these images here and make a folder for these images 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 and here you will take those images here now we will go to there and of those codes and remove those codes under this item we will remove these items from here and under this item we will take not this h4 i want to take it as a, a in img text so under this img i will get it so here from now if you want to add this img as a code 
under this item i will take this img so it will be like that so here we need to also add object feed will be cover now it will be okay here now here you can see that there have no any as there have only one images so it will be look like that but here from if you want to add more images that time it will be come one by one now make it as a four so from here you can get it there are five images are there so from here the second will be the third will be the fourth will be and here this this is the image reference links are there so so that from here it will be taken from here so now refresh it and here from you can see that there have all the images are one by one come here so here from now we need to add other things from here too so here from you can see that in this class is all carousel now if you want to add a class like Sajid's take or here from you can take an uh, whatever your class it may be theme coder class this will be another class now here from if you want to add this class here under with this all dot carousel all dash carousel with this this theme coder class it will be work too and here you can see that now here you will not find any type of nav or any type of dots because here there have item is five now if you make it as a three that time here from you can see that it will be you will get some dots are here now let's start from here from the first to the last so for the first it will be loop what is the loop if you take it loop as a true that time here you can guys see that here from everything will start whenever it will be end but here if you want to make it as a false this loop as a here so here from you can see that here whenever it will be in it will not start from here this is the loop and I hope you understand now we will go to in this margin so here guys you can see that there have a bit space between every slider item so here from if you make it as a 50 that time it will take as a 50 pixels between every items so here if you make it as a zero that time it will take a zero percent margin for every image and here you can see it now from here the nav it will be true now here you can see that these are the nav now if you make it as a false f a l s e false that time it will be hidden and here you can see that the nav is hidden now let's talk about these dots so here by default these dots are true so if you make these dots as a false that time it will be like this so just make it false these dots it will be remove these dots from here and you can see that there are no any dots here and everything is hidden now let's talk about this uh, autoplay here autoplay let's talk about so whenever now it will not autoplay your sliders but if you take it as a auto play and make it as a true it will be automatically sliding if after each five seconds one two three four five and here you can see that it will be auto play now if you want to make this auto play timeout after not this five second i want to take it after two seconds so what you have to do you need to make this auto play timeout auto play timeout as a 2000 that means here everything is counted as a millisecond so here it will be like this 2000 so here that means it will be two second now after this two second this will be sliding one by one you can see it now we want to add a uh, timing in this sliding effect too so for that here we want to add a uh, auto play speed a u t o play speed so from here if you want to add this auto play speed as a two second and it will be continuing speed it will take two second to transit or to make it auto play so how it will be let's check it 
it will be like this it will take two seconds to sliding so yeah guys this is the thing now let's talk about this responsiveness so here what the thing here you'll get three screens but you can customize this as you wish in these thousand that means whenever the screen is or the viewport is equal of 1000 pixels or more than 1000 pixels here you will get at least four items here the items will be four so here whenever now my screen is more than 1000 pixels so here you will get it if you get this screen as a 4000 pixels that time you can see that they have four images and if you create it add it more that time also it will add only four images and here in the second here it is whenever the screen is equal of 600 or more than 600 but less than 1000 that time it will show only three items now let's go to on this less than 1000 that means 999 then you can see that there are only three items there and here whenever you will in this 600 pixels also it will only show these three images so here from now if you want to go to this screen as a 599 that time it will show only one because here it shows that here whenever the screen is equal of zero pixels or more than zero pixels but less than 600 that time it will show the items of one but here you will create other conditions too so how like that here i want to add as a 400 whenever this equal or more than 400 and less than 600 that time it will show these items as two items here so here from it will show here as two items whenever the screen is equal of 400 or more than 400 or less than 600 that time it will show you and here you can see that here this screen is less than 600 and more than 400 so here it will show you only two items each and every time so here guys these are the basic and you can also create it as you wish now here i want this here for whenever this screen is more than or equal of 1200 or less than 1000 that time it will show us the items of at least six items here items items of six here it will show us now let's check out it now make this screen as a 1201 pixels that time you can see that there are six items one two three four five six seven one two three four five six six so here guys this is the thing and these are the basic by which now you can create a slider at least for your website i hope you all understand it and i can show you how you can do it and i will give all the links in the description below so that from here you can also download it now guys it's your turn i hope you all do it now if you guys understand it clearly and properly that time i request please give a like that video and support me to this channel as like you support my sajid stake so guys now today we will meet in the next video so till the end take care have a nice day